Hi guys, um, strap yourself in for a long one. This is a Samsung, Samsung washer dryer um, washing machine which I bought as spares. I'll show you what the problem is here. If you see the drum here, it clunking. So more than likely, it's because it's moving so much, it's more than likely the spider's uh, broken. So we're gonna strip it down and have a look and change it. First disconnect the power. Then I'm just gonna take this top off, take the lid off it. Just show you what it's like on the top here. It's a washer dryer, and that's the actual drying, the chrome thing, the heating. Uh, motor element. So I'm just going to remove this soap tray and uh, also this control panel has to come off. Just two screws on the front and four on the top and then just disconnect the um, power connector and then what we've got to do is remove this door seal one connects to the drum one connects to the heater and there's four screws at the front holding the front cover on so once I've got this door seal unclipped There you go, it's uh, finally got the door seal off. Um, just got to remove the switch for the um, door lock. That's the switch for the door lock there. And just put this uh, front cover out of the way for now. Now I've got to remove these uh, concrete counterweights. And that's both counterweights removed here. So I'm just going to remove the sump at the bottom of the machine. Let me just connecting this, disconnecting the sump there and the other hoses at the bottom. It's a washer dryer, so there's more hoses than usual. And then I'm just removing the shock absorbers mountings at the bottom. It's easy to access through the hole you can see at the front there with the long extension. And uh, I've got to remove some connections on the back of the motor. I'll just turn it around and show you. First I've got to get this uh, cover off four screws I'm going to take a picture of the motor connections before I remove them so I know what they look like and I'm going to take a picture of the um, element, heating elements at the bottom connections so I know what it looks like when I've got to reassemble it. Well, all I've got to do now is disconnect them. I 
and that's the connections, all the wires disconnected there. And I'll turn the machine back around. A bit tricky this part. Um, I'll remove the drum of the um, springs. And I'll just get this um, housing out of the way. And that's the drum out. As you can see the play in it. I have to do this inside because the weather's bad. So what I'm gonna do is split the tub. As you can see, there's bolts going all the way around. Just highlight them there for you. And you can see the movement in the tub there, in the drum, sorry. Very excessive. So it's just um, some 10 mil head bolts going all the way around. It holds the tub together. So I'm just undoing these at the moment. I've still got the shock absorber attached, but I am going to remove that out of the way. There I am just removing the bolts, all the screws, re retaining screws, there they are. And it's just a matter of pulling the top apart, as you can see I've done here. the inside of the tub there's damage to it which I'll show you later where the tub has been the drum has been banging around so I'm just gonna flip this up now and I'm gonna remove the um, this bolt on the bottom holds the motor in place and retains the drum so I've just undone that Um, this motor is magnetic, this, this um, panel what I'm lifting off here, so there is resistance, but it does come straight off, like so. And then it's just a matter of lift, lifting the tub off, off of the drum. And here you can see the damage, let me just show you, get a close up, so it's cracked on all three um, angles of the spider and this is all bits of aluminium and washing that's built up in there so what I'm gonna do is undo it you've got, got to take care when you're undoing this you've got to undo it turn it backwards and forwards as you're undoing it or you will snap the bolts off inside I need the bolts for the new spider so I'm just gonna take my time and backwards and forwards to undo the um, retaining bolts there's three of them and that's the first one out, it's still got the thread lock on it. There you can see that's the one bolt out. And I'm just going to put this spider on a bit of board so you can see, give you a better look. It's completely clattered, completely mangled. drum out the way for the minute. The time. Here you can oh. see the damage. <laughs> Cracked in all three legs.
um, as you can see here, I've uh, just trying to get a part number off it. So I've scrubbed the one part just to get a part number off it. Um, right, um, so regarding the top, just going to give it a clean, get rid of all this excess inside. We'll clean the outer section as well. see I've got it clean here here you can see bits of where because the drum was loose it rubbed against the um, tub in places little grey marks there because it was moving around excessively and I'll show you here especially at the bottom um, it was um, grinding away at this tub almost almost split it in half um, there's some airline cracks in this which I'll have to um, seal and that's just bits of um, plastic that have been formed by friction and worn away which I'm removing here and I'll show you the other side it's almost cut through the drum the tub sorry the drum almost cut through the tub bottom there so there is there are tiny holes there so I'm just going to use this gorilla glue to fill the gaps um, this glue I, the reason why I use this glue is weather resistant and it as it dries it expands so it's going to fill any um, of these airline holes that are there and I'm just going to bit of put a bit of uh, sellotape over it just to hold it in place so it doesn't run up, uh, start running too along and making a mess that uh, should hold it right next day as you can see it's dried it's dried now um, um, it has leaked a bit but uh, this will easily peel off I'll just give you a little demonstration this is just excess where I can just peel it off it's not serving any purpose, so I'll, I'll just cut this part off. And just get this big piece off also. And just get it out of the way for a minute. Um, now to the drum, I've got to give it a bit of a clean because um, there's a lot of mess inside here. So I'm just going to use some cleaner and some water. I'll have to take this outside because um, it looks like a messy job. I'll have to give it a scrub with a brush. And it, as you can see here, I'm just giving it a scrub. Just get rid of this excess. I'm just giving it a rinse off here once I've got it clean. I could have put the scrub spider on without doing this, but what the hell see there it's nice and clean so I brought it back inside just to show you there to locate one on the internet for 43 pounds 43.96 I've ordered it and it's arrived voila it's here so just a matter of um, fitting this new spider to the drum let's give you have a look give you a look at it here the new spider there um, it actually hooks into the um, recess for the screw holes so it'll just clip in to the actual screw holes 
on the drum so you can see me here I'm going to press it in you should hear it snapping in there you go and that's all three sides in secure These came off the old units, uh, so I'm just going to put them back on this one. It's like a shim and a seal. I'll just give you a close up here. Show you how it's seated. And that's the bolt hole for the um, retaining bolt. There's three of them. And uh, here's the bolt here. It's already got thread lock on it, so what I've got to do is just tighten, it, tighten them in. I'll just put it on this um, chair so you can get a closer look at what I'm doing. So like I said, I've just got to tighten the three bolts. And there's all three tightened. I'm just gonna put it on the floor and just tighten them a bit more. Might, might be best to talk this one up. I'm not sure what the settings would be, but I'm just gonna make sure they're nice and tight. But don't overdo it, that you don't wanna um, cross thread or break the bolt inside. So here you can see me just giving it a final tightening on all three bolts. And there you go, you see it's all seated and tightened up. Uh, just gonna put a bit of grease around the shaft. Right where the uh, seal goes. And also, I'm going to put a bit of grease around the um, actual seal itself. Should have changed the seal really, but it looks uh, in good condition. And there's no signs it's been leaking. So now, it's just a matter of refitting the drum in place into the tub. And you had that fall, fall in place. And I'll just, uh, I'll just put it back up here so you can get a closer look of, of what I'm doing. spinning freely so just gonna put the cover back on with the magnets like I said there's um, there's a bit of resistance on there so but it will go on onto the actual splines of the um, spider and that's it on there just got to bolt it up uh, back together now find the big bolts there it is to screw that um, main bolt back in. I'll have to put 
it's on the floor because I've got to give it a good, really good tighten. And here you can see me just tightening it up, tightening the main bolt on the back of the drum. And now I'm going to use some, uh, it's just some clear sealant just to, um, I really should have changed the gasket, but um, I'll just use this clear sealant, it should seal it secure enough. I'm just going to seal it all the way around. You can see the black seal inside there. So it's just a matter of um, reassembling the tub. Let's put the two halves together now. And just make sure it's sitting correctly. Then just put the um, another bolt seat back together. So I'm just putting the bolts back in. Tighten them up individually. And now that they're all tight, I'll just go around and give them all a final tighten. And one of the bolts is the other way around. Um, okay, so that's all done now. Um, it seems it's running fine. Um, it's just a matter of um, putting it back in the machine. So, I've got to bring the housing up first. Then we're going to bring out the drum. And then uh, we're going to fit the drum and put the machine back together. The, um, this section here, the door seal was a right nightmare, but uh, I managed to resolve it in the end. And I'll just turn the back and put the wires back on. And all the connections for the um, elements. And then just pop the back cover back on lively and that's it um just show you around it it's all complete all back together now just gotta give it a try get it plumbed up drain it sorted and uh see if it runs okay as you can see here no more shaky drum solid bit of fairy liquid what I use to put the drum seal back in makes it a lot easier so I'm just going to put a bit of soap in here and just chuck this bit of cloth in here and give it a try and it seems to be running fine it's going to leave it we'll let it run in for a bit I've still got a test it for a few days so I'll let you know it gets on if I get if, if uh, any problems pop up um, the floor's wet here but it's not from the machine I've got this hose connected for the supply and it's just um, running down with that once again thanks for watching and please subscribe